couple of them money. Yep. Dual advantages. You see a logging camp over there. Yeah. Where? Straight over here. Was for allowing a clear cut. That back in uh, Montana and Wyoming and stuff, they do uh, selective cutting, and it's working a lot better. And the country doesn't look so devastated. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah. Yeah, select, selective cutting, they just cut patches. <laughs> Is it patches or do they just cut a tree here, a tree there? Oh no, they go in and cut a whole area, but they leave. They don't cut a whole mountainside, they cut certain sections of it. What do you say, guys? That's what I used to think selective cutting was. Really by yourself. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's the golden rule. See you, Andy. All right, have so, fun. Uh, we're following the bear tracks up here, Andy. It's been a slice. I got Andy's car keys. My body's coming back. It's Tommy Action Jackson, imported direct from Whistler, BC. A lovely day for a hike. How for a forever day. But uh, that's how we got possums here. Jonathan Blatt, up from Portland, Oregon. And Mount Baker Ski Patrol, Larry Goosby. So, all well, these guys got shipped up here from Tennessee and Kentucky. And dude leading up the back. Only looks that way because he let me get ahead to film him. Andy the Edge bets. Mount Baker Ski Patrol. Get your ice axe out, John. <clears throat> City day, huh? Yeah. Um, this is where we'll be climbing in a minute. Right Lunch there. break.
Okay, well up there we probably can do it. Right when you turn that corner you'll be able to see the summit. Man, when you stop moving it gets chilly, doesn't it? Andy's over here somewhere on our lunch rock, you can hear him. Working on our... Well, he's wearing his harness. You just missed it. We were all naked, sitting here running like nymphets in the snow. And Andy's harness matches his long underwear. Fashion statements of the day. Yeah, very Not important. Tom's. Never miss an opportunity to make fashion. Uh, Tom, you want to show us yours? <laughs> well, like I was saying earlier, the, the pink around it matches the head of my dick. Show us what you got there. I thought you were saying the black around it looks like the gangrene on the end. Well, that, you know, it's, Tom, we, we've seen the harness. It's the end of your deck we're looking for right now. Yeah. There's no end to that prick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There's this anonymous voice off to my side here. There he is. That's Larry. Yeah. He works with Andy. Can you believe that? You don't work. No. Not work it. Not work it. That's the way you do it, huh? Okay, that's good, Joe. Here's where we just hiked up from. Way down there at that meadows where we started. Our car's parked out there. Right on the edge of that. Right here. Right here. Oh, oh that, yeah. That's a steep pitch. With a bank on it. Where's the summit? You point to the summit there. The final ascent before the summit. Larry's leading the way. Strong as Knox. There's the summit. We'll follow these people's tracks. Poor Andy and Larry complaining they left their cigarettes behind. I think how much faster they could go if they had a few bets here with them. Speaking of bets, there's three in a row. Tommy, Andy, and, uh, and there's Larry's bet. straighter route up here. If you could break to the right, can you belay us from the right? Okay. Uh, let me go up first, and then let me go over to the trail right in front of me. See, I need you to belay from over here. To okay. your right, right above the... It's a great camera shot. Okay. Alright. If you can break, traverse right. Huh? Traverse right. I know. <clears throat> and then he'll belay us from there. Huh? It's actually steep. Jonathan, Jonathan, do you have any comments on what's going on right at this, this moment? I need a new pair of underwear, Tom. What do you think? Is it a little steep up here? Or? Yeah, it's a little bit steep. They have a sail at the top, don't yeah. they? Okay, Jeff, get your, uh, get your skis on. Get your ice axe and come over here. Yeah, it's definitely what steep. What do you want me to do with your stuff? 
55, probably 57 degrees. Steeper than I've ever been on. Talk, talk about some wicked exposure. Right at the summit. Yeah. Can you have to move away? Clouds rolling over his head. Or do I go follow his steps or go up right here? Uh, follow his steps. Okay, so now I undo my axe from here. Okay, well, no, no, no. Don't do it that until. How are you doing up he there? Hasn't, he hasn't set up his axe. You alright? Do you want to do a munter hitch? On belay there? You know, the part that gets me is you do all this, you put your skis on, you're down in 10 minutes. <laughs> belay. That's a good job. Tommy Thank climbing. You. Climbing! Yeah. That's why the rope's there, John. Just don't put the ice axe through the rope. Very nervous. Rope in. Just say yeah. up rope. Up rope. Bring it up. That rope's your life, John. Excuse me, Andy. That rope is your lifeline, so be real careful with that ice axe. At the summit. Okay. Well, Andrew, how is it? Wicked steep up here. I'm glad we have a belay. It's a little bit hollow, too. Not too bad once you get past this rock here. What? You can see his axe is sinking in hollow. Well, gentlemen, first one to reach the summit. Bullfrog. Bullfrog. <laughs> and Larry, our expert belay. And Tommy Two Tone. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Call me Cramp On. Cramp On? They call me Cramp On. Cramp On, Cramp Off. Cramp On, Cramp Off. And the South Twin. And a group of happy climbers who are at the summit. Cool. How steep those mothers are. I want a copy of the video too, because no one will believe I was up here. A week from now, I won't believe it. This is Andy on his way right down the very top of the North Twin. Sitting. Sitting on an ice axe. He come right Maybe out. the skis too. Maybe the skis too. Yeah, he's using the skis too. That's Larry right there with the sitting egg. Here you go, Andrew, you're on.
deep enough for you? Wow. Looks good. Yeah, stay on this side of the ridge. Oh, I can see it's flying, no problem. No, so I can film you. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. Well, and then what, maybe one yeah, you're better off on that side, I think. Yeah, then then maybe one of us should stop and grab the camera from you. Okay. You, you got the summit, John? Yeah. Man, I wish you could have skied this puppy right there. Man, that's way steep up top there. I look, yeah, hey, come. I'm going to try to zoom into it. Yeah. That would have been a bit something to do. Yeah, it that's where these guys skied down, and I did a few, uh, what do you call those things? Side slipping and then some skiing. Well, we put a set of tracks on it. Yeah. We did it. First yeah. tracks. It's Miller Town. Yeah, let's, let's get going. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting chilly. That's good, Jeff. I don't want to have to drink. Okay.
that. You have to have at least one fall in the footage. It's required. Yes. Action! Roll them! Yep, anybody! Both of you! Go in sequence! Hold it! You leave your poles there. Why don't you put my ice axe in and take, this other one. And take my other pole out and use that. Because it'll go in the same spot pretty much. Does the strap on the pole do all the way undone? Oh, uh, no. I, I, I laced it through the handle and over the top, so you need to flip it over the top of the handle. The tough thing is, is the strap. So how do you, what do you do with that ice axe again? You, you kind of go like this up the sphincter. <laughs> the sphincter. Or, or, or there's the butt end, you know, if you wanted like up the butt end. <laughs> or, you know, it's good for picking the nose too, you know. Okay. Yeah. Pick your nose. For very big ones, you just kind of... Meisters, the Meisters. Good. Okay, that's a wrap. All right.